offering protection against potential clashes with security forces. Armed men from the Karen ethnic group escort some 2,000 protesters. Mostly teachers and students, they're heeding trade unions' calls for a general strike, with the goal of shutting down Myanmar's economy. The junta, however, warned civil servants they would be fired if they continued the boycott. It sparked international condemnation. On Monday, Australia confirmed it had suspended its defence cooperation with Myanmar. Needs of humanitarian development and support and focus are ones which we have worked very carefully to ensure we're still able to deliver, but we will not be delivering through government agency. We also have a, uh, an embargo on any uh, military sales to, uh, to Myanmar, and we will keep our sanctions policy under close review. The US, Britain and Canada have tightened various restrictions on Myanmar's army, but while they may be symbolically important, it's unclear whether sanctions imposed so far will have much of an impact. Most of the top generals were already under sanctions, and some experts say sustained targeted diplomacy would be more effective. The military denies responsibility for deaths during protests and has defended seizing power by alleging fraud in November's elections.